Greetings and salutations, and we're bringing you today uh, Persian Unarmored Archers. So these are the guys, and before I start, I have to do a quick update to one of our last videos. Um, I thought that there was to make these guys into immortals. It's not, it's actually, it's actually for the back of the head. Um, that's my bad. I got it entirely wrong, um, so it goes on the back of the head like that. Next time I'll do them up on the back of the heads as well. Yes, well I hadn't done one up, so I guessed it was to make them into immortals. <laughs> now, there is actually no way of making these guys into immortals. Um, immortals had their face completely covered. They wore black cloth over their face. They had a face plate, didn't they? It was a black cloth that they had over the face, so the face was black. Alright. It was, it was like a darkness. Because in the film they have like a silver mask that resembles all of them at the same time, so that's why they call mortals. Yeah, that's the film though. Yeah, yeah in reality they, they, it was just black, there was nothing there. And that was the scary thing about them, because they had no soul, no face. And it was so you couldn't tell that it was the guy. Uh, basically, the, the immortals were huge amounts of troops, and um, when you killed them, they were replaced by more immortals. And so the idea was they were immortals, because you couldn't kill them all. Yeah. Um, that turned out to not be the case. No. <laughs> um, didn't, didn't quite work out for them. Um, but anyway, um, so this is the unarmored Persian archers. We get more or less the same command as before, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same command. Yeah, that, um, that guy is broken. Oh. You got a broken guy? His spear's broken. Yeah, Sorry. my spear's about to break as well as one. That's a shame. That's bad design. Uh, anyway, so that's the... Command sprue. Is this the same as the other command sprue? Yes, this command sprue is exactly the same, but the figures are different. Right, so we'll just get onto the figures then. Right, so, uh, these are the figures. They are unarmoured, so they're just wearing cloth and fabric, like so, and they have more or less the same shields and stuff, don't they? Yeah, they're the, the ones you shields, did? yeah. Yeah, um, so we have this shield, begins with an S, can't remember the name of it, um, ends up looking like that. Um, and then we've got the half moon shield, which is a skirmish like shield. Throwing a pillar or someone running yeah. away. Yeah. And then we've got some bows. Let's have a look. Right, so they are in fact very much similar to the armoured archers, aren't they? Yeah. They're it's practically just the same. It's just the figures are different. Yeah, they're practically the same figure. Yeah. Yeah, right. So they're, they're only the same poses as well, aren't they? Yes, the exact same poses. Right, so they're, they're exactly the same as the armoured archers, but these ones are in cloth. So that, that threw me again for a second as well. <laughs> so they are actually the same. Okay. So the heads would appear to be the same as well. Yeah. So the only thing different is that these are in cloth and the other guys are in body armour. Um, there's also one difference. For some reason, they have random arrows. Oh yeah, you get spare interesting arrows. Uh, so that's so you can stick them in Spartan shields as you do dioramas. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. But they've all got the similar, very similar to the uh, armored ones, which is understandable because it's the only difference is armored and unarmored. Yes. So we've got some nice arrows for the floor. And yeah, well, the bodies, there's not much to say about the body poses because we've already done it. Because yeah. it's just the armoured version, the unarmoured version of the armoured box that we did, did unboxing of. Um, so, same bows, same everything, really. Um, I like that bow there. Right, so um, just to cut a long story short, we'll have a look at them assembled. So, these are the guys when they're put together. This is one of the guys, this is one of the bowmen. I really like them. I really like the poses. Yeah, they look very action-y. Mm. Um, like a lot of stuff that Vitrix does, like the Romans, the standard advancing Romans look a bit boring. They're all in the same pose. And the Greeks are terrible because they're all in exactly the same pose and it's the same figure as well. But the only thing you're good about is you change the pose of the weapon. Yes, but um, that's about it. Which I tried to do. That's about it, yeah. The thing I didn't like about the Greeks, sorry, I'm yawning. The thing I didn't like about the Greeks is that the spear mostly is over, ha over, over yeah. your shoulder. 
Which is why I came downstairs a while ago when we did when I was doing them. I was like, which way do I hold it? Yeah. Do they hold it like furthest away behind them or furthest in front of them? See, in reality, um, uh, I haven't got a Greek here at the moment. Uh, I have a, a Greek skeleton. Um, you see it over, over the shoulder like that? That's how most of the Greeks come. And All of them, actually. Yeah. What, th there's two things. Right, when you look at sort of pottery and stuff from the era, this is where the over the shoulder thing comes from. Half, 50% of all Greeks are holding it over the shoulder and 50% are holding it underarm, which is how you actually use it. Because you can't thrust. That is useless. You can't do anything with that. And that's because the javelin used by the Spartans and the, the, the Athenians and, 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 and all the, the, the Torian Greeks and the other Greeks were very, very long. Right. right, about the same length as a, 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 a whatever the spear is called. Um, Javelin. No, the spear, the actual spear. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, um, it's the same length as that. So a lot of those pictures are probably people throwing javelins. Mm. It's, it's the Greeks throwing the javelins before they go into battle. Um, and the ones with them underarm. Are the ones actually fighting? Yeah, that's the um, point of having a spear in the air anyway. I, I have some underarm ones somewhere. If I can reach to the back of the box. Let's have a look. Right, like that. See, that's underarm. And that's how you actually use a spear, um, uh, the, the Greek spear. It's You thrust with it under your arm. It's a spear, that's what you do with it. Um, you do not, in any circumstances, try to use it over the heads of your friends. It, it's just not how you do it. Um, a pike, yes, you can, because you can actually advance with a pike over your shoulder. And the reason, a sort of facing forward over your shoulder, because I used to be a pikeman, I was in the seal knot. Um, and you did, could advance like that, um, because there were the 60 of you in a pike column. Yeah. And the pointy front pike is supposed to be the same it, it, it's complicated but these guys aren't pikes these, these are carrying spears and it's a thrusting spear that you thrust forward so that's just something that annoys me about greek models they're always they're always like this sorry i haven't got any to show you they're all in the other room uh, whereas they're actually used more like that that's the correct way to use a spear and there's some greeks in there right there <laughs> Can you reach one? Yes. There's a Greek. Oh, another Spartan. He's on his way. Sorry, our, our gaming desk is far too long. This is a later Spartan. And he has the spear overhead. And so he is actually throwing a javelin in real life. And if he's not throwing a javelin, then he is simply carrying his spear on his shoulder. Yeah. as he's marching along he's not fighting with your spear like that that's stupid it's really dumb uh, you're not doing that um, so that's basically how that, that works um, so anyway that's one of the guys based up and painted and he's got everything on and we've got a couple more guys to show you because this is all we've actually got done at the moment and that's the hat at the back like that Oops. And lastly, there's this chap who's firing an arrow, and he, he just fired an arrow. He's reaching into his um, arrow quiver to get another arrow out, and he's quite good. Uh, this guy doesn't have a sword. Oh, he's got no strap for a sword. Oh, poor guy, ain't got a weapon. Oh dear. <laughs> so he's stuffed if he loses. Right. So that's basically the figures. Uh, the biggest thing was to tell you that um, I actually got the thing about the hats wrong. Yeah. Um, which is a bit of a downer. Um, so I felt like a complete idiot when I assembled the first figure and went, <laughs> oh, right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to, I'm not sure how I'm going to make the immortals. Because I want the immortals to look like early immortals, which are not like a lot of depictions of immortals in the late one where they have the big cloth cloak, cloth outfits. No, the immortals wore body armour. Uh, the, 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 the time of the. Athenian war. I don't know of any that do that though. Oh, you, you, we've got them. Um, I've, I've got a marine somewhere. Where's the marine? Is he? He's not even in here. He vanished. Yeah, go and grab him off, off my desk, and I'll show you. I don't know what it looks like. He's green. 
He's green. Yeah, it's a green dude. That's something green on your desk. Yes. Um, so, uh, these are the unarmored guys firing, and these are exactly the same as the armored guys. Um, so, that's really all I can say about it. But I will show you the, the marine that's on his way. Just keep talking to myself. So, more Spartans. Lots of Spartans. This is Yeah, that's it. Right, this is a guy, I'm still painting this guy up. Um, this is a uh, Ethiopian. Uh, so he's, he's an Ethiopian Marine, this guy. And he's awesome outfit. And you can see he's wearing Lamela armor. He's with exactly the same as the Greek armor. Persians, um, a lot of um, Greeks who lived in Turkey and people who lived in Turkey wore the same armor as the Athenians and the, the Greeks because they were Greek, they were, they were Greek colonies, there were Greeks who lived there and they were conquered by the Persians. The, Ion, the Ionian War was the, it was all Greek lands that was conquered by the Persians and yet according to many historians it's sort of, oh the, the Persians were invading the Greeks when they entered Greece. Mm. No, Greece was was Turkey and it had been overrun by the Persians you know, they've been constantly at war this whole time and uh, this, this is just where the Greeks had their back to the wall where you have the Thermopylae and the other one Marathon um, that's that's the very for the as far as the Greeks were concerned that wasn't the beginning of the Persian war that was the ending yeah, of the Persian hour. war yeah they, they, they'd been fighting the war against the Persians for decades and decades um, so yeah Anyway, this guy is actually an Ethiopian, so it's a, but it's, it's the same armor. Um, so this is really how the it's, um, immortals would have looked in this sort of body armor. They're the best troops the Persians had. They're not sending in per troops without body armor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, that's about it. I don't want to waffle on too much. So that's it. What do you what do you think of the figures? Well, I mean, I like the uh, armoured ones, so of course I'd like the unarmoured ones. I still the pose. Yeah, they're very animate. Yeah. Aren't they? they look really good. Um, yeah, I do like them. I like them very much like the Romans, um, the advancing, the attacking Romans. I don't think I've done any of them. Yeah, I've done any of them. They're their frowns, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, we haven't seen them yet, but, um, but we'll do a video on them. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Imperator Vespasian. And Trusty Psychic. And he's Trusty Psychic. That's everything from me. And everything from him. Goodbye. Did I even do the outro? Did you if enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. Oh, come, come on, down you know, below, that's you think of the stuff. Yeah, that's it. Right, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>